Hey guys, what's up? I was just trying to show you what we can do with the Dingo from Dingo Digital. I did actually install a custom theme on this one, which makes it look like more like Windows 7 style. There, there's more sharpness. So what we do have here is apps and other apps. I have, uh, I have apps. I got a Vice, which is a Commodore 64 emulator. I got a Pocket SNES, which is a Super Nintendo emulator, an alternative to the original one, which I have. And I got some Dingo games, which is built-in games, which you get with the Dingo, which is actually pretty decent, but it's not as cool in my opinion, considering I want to play classic games. Uh, in the game directory we have uh, here we have we have ROMs, CPS1 which is arcade style games, CPS2, Game Boy Advance, the emulator is I think the, the whole unit's best emulating in the Game Boy Advance. It's almost like playing the original one. We have Neo Geo which is rather good considering it's portable handheld computer. We have Nintendo 8 bits and uh, Philips Video Pack. It's called Odyssey in the other places of the world. In Europe, it was called Philips Video Pack. We have the Sega Master System and we have the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo Vectrex. So, if you want to start, for example, you want to play a Odyssey, Odyssey game, you just choose one of the games Munchkin. Yeah, there we go. We have the Odyssey Select Game screen. Raspberry Smooth. Yeah, let's eat that one. Mm, yummy. If you press, press both Start and Select button, uh, mostly you get back to the selection screen or you get to options in the emulator. I can show you in, in, the, in the Mega Drive, for example. Let's play uh, Wonder Boy. There you are. Press start. New game. Yeah. Press both once and you have the volume setting. No, not load state. Yes, you can save and load everywhere you want in the games. More audio. I want more volume. Stop. You can get some coffee while that's there. So this is the Mega Drive emulation. I think I chose a very poor choice of how do you exit? I don't know how to play this. Ah, whatever. Exit. You can choose Wrestle War. Perhaps that's more like action. Same here. Oh, this was so It's just quiet. Yeah, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Gotcha. Well, we got uh, we got in the Super Nintendo emulation. It's very good, actually. Let's take one. Castlevania. What is this? I haven't played this one. Some kind of fire? And then you can save and load states. 
say state load state. So if I save here, I get a saved state with a screenshot on it, slot one, so we can save the server. I actually installed um, uh, other than the standard emulators, which was possible. They're out and they're on the web. It's just a such such a dingo. Dingo SNES is this one. It's rather good. Uh, they got some more options, and I think it's a little bit faster in the emulation too. It's probably more well written. And the other way, uh, you can also insert, of course, a memory card here. Uh, below you get this. Uh, oh, what fell out. Uh, you get this mini SD, which is not that common anymore. But you can still buy them. I bought this one for like two dollars. So what I was about to show you is the way you boot up Dinga, Dingax if you install Linux on the unit. You press select and you start it up and it will boot Linux instead. There are a lot of good guides how to install the, the Ding, Dingax uh, system in, in the unit. It always installs on the SD card, so you have to have an SD card to, you, to run Linux on the unit. Uh, let's see. Then you get other emulators like the Amiga 500. You get PlayStation, Sony PSX. This is two different firmware I installed. An old firmware from PlayStation and a newer one. Uh, you get the Atari, Atari ST. Uh, Pico Drive, which is uh, a faster, faster version of the Mega Drive emulator. So you can run. Uh, James Pond. So you can run James Pond <laughs> rather quickly. But this is a noticeable um, difference in speed if you install the Linux version of the Mega Drive. it. Get back to the Dingo. But you have the Amiga. Let's try the Amiga 500. As, uh, I installed the Kickstart 1.2. You can select which Kickstart you want to run on the unit. Just to, If you just run it, it will show the Kickstart. Remember that one? Uh, you press both the buttons, you can select an image disk. Amiga games. Uh, install some games on the SD card. It's amazing how many games you can fit. I just own, I only have 4 GB. And you can use up to 16, I think. Wild games, Asterix, Hebrews, King of Chicago, Menace. This one is a classic. And you can save state on Amigas too, so if you load, I've played this one before. Save state, you will now load state. It will go back to the place where I quit, which was when I got to the second level. Super throttle, which is an acceleration of the. Yeah. So that's more, more or less it. Uh, it's a small little unit, as you can see, compared to a keyboard. So it's pretty amazing that you can emulate both uh, Sony PlayStation and Amiga on, on uh, this small unit. Highly recommended.